Hi folks, hope you had a good Easter and that you didn't eat too much chocolate and make yourself sick. <laughs> we had a pretty decent Easter round here, but unfortunately there was a fire in the village and while no one was hurt, which is a good thing, it did take the internet down. And so I've been without the internet for about two and a half days now. And that put a bit of a kink in my plans because I'd intended to put a couple of videos out over the Easter period. And uh, talking about my videos and my YouTube channel, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you really like it, please click on one of my other videos after you've watched this one, because it's the best thing you can do for a small YouTuber is to click on another one of their videos after you've watched one of them, because the algorithm's kicking our ass at the moment and you need to tell the algorithm in effect that you like what you've seen and you want to watch more. And that hopefully will help push the channel. And don't just do it for me, do it for other small YouTubers as well. You'll be doing us a huge favour. But anyway, enough about that. Those of you who subscribed to me recently or who followed me for a while will know that I made a video recently talking about how you can play Steam games on the Xbox using GeForce Now running through the Edge browser. And the only people who could do that were people like me who were on the alpha skip ahead tier of the preview program. However, I had a couple of people in my comments mention that they hadn't been able to do that recently, even though they're on the alpha skip ahead tier. And uh, I couldn't check it over the weekend, but I sat down this morning to have a look. And yeah, unfortunately, they're right. If you look here, I go into Microsoft Edge. And uh, yeah, we've got Microsoft Edge up. Just let it load. And you can see it's a normal page. And I've got GeForce Now there because I've had it loaded before. So I'm going to go into GeForce Now. And unfortunately, eh, eh, this is what you see. Unsupported device. This device or web browser is not currently supported by GeForce Now. Check out available devices and download the latest GeForce Now apps by clicking the link below. And this is not what you saw before. Those of you who watched my previous video will know that it took you into your games list and you could play your games. And uh, I don't know whether this is because of the recent update to the Xboxes. Uh, I suspect it might be. Uh, but before we had this on the Xbox, there, there was a problem with uh, GeForce Now running in the Edge browser on PC as well. And if I, uh, I'll just click over and show you my PC. This is my PC at the moment. And uh, you can see um, I've got various tabs open. Well, I've just got one tab open and uh, I can bring up others. But yeah, this is my, uh, my PC. And uh, yeah, I'm getting the same message on the PC when I'm using the Edge browser. It still works in the Chrome browser, but not in Edge, even though Edge is a Chromium device or Chromium app. So it's basically running on Chrome. So yeah, it's not working on Windows and it's certainly no longer working on my Xbox, which is, you know, we're back with now. So unfortunately, yeah, that's a bit of a pain in the neck. GeForce Now is no longer working, even for people on the Alpha Skip Ahead tier. And it's a bit disappointing because <laughs> the Edge browser seems to be working a lot better now. And I was thinking, oh, you know, it's working a lot better. It'll be great because you'll be able to go in there and it will run a lot more smoothly. And you won't have all these problems with the menus and not being able to get into stuff. But yeah, this is what we're seeing. And uh, as I say, I don't know whether this is because of the update to the, you know, Microsoft Xbox systems. We've had an update recently or whether it's something that GeForce have done. Uh, if it's something that GeForce has, has done, then that's just crazy. And I can't see why they would want to do that, because obviously GeForce and NVIDIA want to get GeForce now on as many systems as possible. The interesting thing for me, though, is if this is something that Microsoft have actively done and they've actively blocked it, I wonder about this because they've, in effect, blocked the ability of GeForce Now to run in a browser on the Xbox. And when you consider that Microsoft are developing a browser for functionality for xCloud so that xCloud or Microsoft Streaming will work on iOS devices like, you know, a, a Apple phone or a, a, an Apple tablet, the, you know, the iPad. This could be a problem for them because on the one hand, they may be blocking GeForce Now on their devices through a browser. 
And then they're going to want to argue that, you know, <laughs> Apple shouldn't be doing that on their devices. So it's an interesting one. I don't know whether it is Microsoft. I don't know whether it's GeForce. But I'll be watching this as time goes on because uh, I think this one's going to run and run. This could be an interesting development. Uh, <laughs> as disappointing as it is. And uh, yeah, it is very disappointing. I, I was uh, having a lot of fun fiddling around with... Uh, <laughs> Steam games on the Xbox, and I can't do it anymore. So yeah, that's that. Just a little update, uh, depressing one <laughs> at that, but uh, it is what it is. There's not much we can do about it other than sit and wait and hope this gets sorted out. But anyway, I'm done. I'll uh, speak to you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>